Hi everyone and welcome to part two of the Kundalini Yoga Chakra series. Today there's an invitation if you wish to work with the sacral chakra. So in this class we will be creating an opportunity for you to balance emotions and tap into your creativity. So without further ado, let's begin the practice. Sitting with a tall spine, head centered, drawing the hands together in prayer pose at the chest. Begin today's practice tuning in with the mantra Ong Namo Gurudev Namo, meaning I bow to the infinite teacher within. hands down and placing them on the knees. We're going to begin warming up the spine with some Sufi grinds. Inhaling as we rotate the torso forwards and exhaling as the torso comes to the back. Inhaling forwards and exhaling back. Always keeping the chin elevated parallel to the ground as you circle. Just breathing normally here. And then making the circles a little smaller, coming back to centre and then rotating round to the right. So again, inhaling forwards and exhaling back. Maintaining the normal breath here, keeping the chin elevated, parallel to the ground. Just making nice big circles. And then making the circles a little smaller until you come back to centre. Just taking a nice deep inhalation here now, suspending the breath and just holding. And then exhaling, releasing the posture now. I'm going to stretch out the left leg, so drawing the right foot in to the thigh, taking a nice deep inhalation and as you exhale just folding over that left leg, reaching with your hands either on your shin or your ankle, not trying to collapse over the leg here, we're keeping the chest elevated, the chin is still parallel to the ground, just feeling that stretch in the hamstring. Just nice deep breaths here for a moment, really breathing into this stretch. As you inhale and then as you exhale, just see if you can go a little deeper with the stretch. Don't want to feel any pinching in the lower back.
and then taking a nice deep inhalation and then as you exhale slowly coming up out of this posture sitting upright once more now switching legs and extending the right leg out drawing the left foot to the right thigh taking a nice deep inhalation and as you exhale folding over the right leg now bringing the hands down to the shin or to the foot just seeing where you are with a stretch here today once again keeping the chest elevated and the chin remains parallel to the ground just nice deep breathing here inhaling and then with every exhale perhaps just deepening the stretch going a little bit lower folding the abdomen over the thigh still holding the chest up you don't want to be feeling any pinching in the lower back just nice deep breaths here Taking a nice deep inhalation and as you exhale slowly coming out of this posture coming back to a seated position cross legs and then holding on to the ankles and we're now going to warm the spine up further with some spinal flex so that's inhaling and drawing the chest forwards and as you exhale Inhale, collapsing the chest and tilting the pelvis in the opposite way. Inhaling forwards and exhaling back, keeping the chin parallel to the ground. And then coming back to centre, taking a nice deep inhalation and suspending the breath for a moment. And then as you exhale, drawing the legs out to the diagonal just as wide as is available for you and engage in a wide leg stretch now working one side at a time so beginning with the left turning the torso so it's facing the left leg inhaling and then exhaling folding over that leg bringing the abdomen to the thigh as you drop down still keeping the chest up and the chin parallel to the ground so you're not completely slumping over your leg really encouraging that stretch down the hamstring here perhaps holding onto the toes or the shins, wherever your hands need to be for this posture so you get that nice stretch in the left leg. Just nice deep breaths here. And then taking a nice deep inhalation and as you exhale slowly uncurling coming back up back to center and then turning to the right leg so your torso is in alignment with the right leg and as you exhale slowly folding over the right leg now once again allowing your hands to land wherever they need to land to enable you to have that contact and yet feel that stretch once again keeping the chest elevated and the chin parallel to the ground nice deep breaths really breathing into this stretch
and then taking a nice deep inhalation and as you exhale slowly uncurling out of this posture coming back up to a seated position coming back to center taking a nice deep inhalation here and as you exhale placing the hands just slightly behind the back just behind the buttocks and then leaning back ever so slightly so you're getting that nice chest opening here just breathing deeply here perhaps taking this opportunity to connect with your sacral energy asking if there's anything here that's ready to be released And then taking a nice deep inhalation. And as you exhale, coming back up to center and then leaning forwards, bringing the arms out in front of you, palms to the ground. Once again, keeping the chin elevated, right angle to the chest, just stretching forwards. So you feel the stretch in the legs, but you've also got the contact with your hands to the ground out in front. I'm just breathing deeply here. a nice deep inhalation and as you exhale slowly coming up out of this posture drawing the legs back together and sitting upright before placing the hands behind the back once more behind the buttocks and leaning back ever so slightly supporting yourself here and then adopting normal breath here begin just turning the feet in and out away from each other getting a nice rotation in the hips with this gentle movement working with the hips here the hips can hold on to emotion and this is a wonderful way to work with that sacral energy encouraging energetic flow here and then bringing the feet back to a stationary position and taking a nice deep inhalation, just suspending the breath for a moment, checking in, seeing what's coming up for you in this moment, seeing how you feel and then exhaling, bringing the hands back to the side and preparing yourself now to come down onto your back, slowly rolling down until you're on your back, preparing for some pelvic raises now, really getting into the front of the hips and working the back of the glutes. So to prepare for this, just checking in with your posture here, making sure the shoulders are away from the ears, the hands are to your sides, bending at the knees and bringing the feet towards the buttock. Taking an inhale, raising the pelvis up, with the inhale, really feeling strong in the glutes and in the core, inhaling and raising the buttocks up, raising those hips and exhaling, lowering the body back down. And just repeating, so inhaling and raising the buttocks up, raising those hips 
and exhaling, lowering the body back down. Continuing with these pelvic raises, feeling into this posture, only coming up as so far as is available for you. You don't want to feel any pinching in the lower back. Making this your last one, and as you exhale, bringing the body back down to the ground, bringing the soles of the feet together now. We're going to begin sending one leg out at a time to the diagonal, raised up above the floor. So going out about a 45 degree angle, just nice deep breaths with this dynamic posture. Inhaling and exhaling with the movement, adjusting the posture for your needs, perhaps placing the hands underneath the back if you require that additional support. You can always raise the legs up so a little bit higher off the ground. The lower you bring them down to the ground, the more the exercise is intensified. So just working with where you are with this today, really working with the hips and the abdomen here. Taking a nice deep inhalation and drawing those feet back together and just holding for a moment. And then exhaling, bringing the knees into the chest and then raising the legs up so they are 90 degrees with the toes pointed. And then with an engaged core, lowering the right leg so only the left leg remains pointing up and just holding this posture, taking some nice deep breaths here, breathing into this stretch. Just checking in with your lower back, making sure you're not feeling any pinching there, making sure the shoulders are still away from the ears. And then taking a nice deep inhalation and as you exhale, drawing the right foot back up to join the left. Taking another deep inhalation and as you exhale, lowering the left leg down now. So only the right leg remains pointing up at that 90 degrees. Once again, nice deep breaths here. You may notice a difference from one side to the other. Just finding out where you are with this posture today. And then taking a nice deep inhalation. And as you exhale, drawing the left leg back up. Just holding both legs up at that 90 degree angle and taking some nice deep breaths here for a moment. And then taking a nice deep inhalation and suspending the breath. Exhaling, holding strong in the core as you lower the legs back down to the ground. And then drawing the knees into the chest, just rocking up and down for a moment until you rock your way back up to seated, coming onto the knees and slowly lowering yourself down so you can lie down onto your front, preparing now for bow pose. Once on your front, bending at the knees at 45 degree angle and if you wish remaining here with the arms to the sides head resting by the side 
if you wish to come into bow pose, head centered. You can then reach for the feet with the arms, reaching the ankles with the hands. And once you've made that contact, perhaps staying here, or if you wish, taking an inhale and as you exhale, raising the chest up as you push the ankles into the hands, coming up into bow pose here. Just taking some nice deep breaths. And then taking a nice deep inhalation and suspending the breath and really hold, hold, holding this posture. And then exhaling, slowly releasing the feet down, resting the head to the side for a moment. And then coming back up to a seated posture. Once seated with the legs outstretched in front of you, I'm going to take a spinal twist to placing the left foot over the right leg. And then holding onto the knee with the right arm and looking over the left shoulder. As you inhale, you lengthen the spine and as you exhale, you twist into this spinal twist. Inhale, lengthening and exhaling, perhaps twisting a little further if that feels right for you. And then taking the inhalation. And as you exhale, coming out of the twist, bringing the right foot over the left outstretched leg bending at the knee and then taking the left arm to wrap around that right leg, looking over the right shoulder now. As you inhale, lengthening the spine and as you exhale, deepening into that twist, just looking over that right shoulder, nice deep breaths, lengthening and twisting as you breathe. And then taking a nice deep inhalation and as you exhale coming back to center releasing the leg down and then making your way onto your knees is we're going to bring the right knee up a 45 degree angle into a lunge of the hands in venus lock and stretching them up over the head nice deep breaths here ensuring that your hips are squared facing the front edge of your mat. So twisting in the pelvis here, just feeling that stretch. And then taking a nice deep inhalation and as you exhale, slowly releasing the hands down, bringing that right foot back as you come back to kneeling. Bringing the left foot forward now into a lunge once more, interlacing the fingers into Venus Lock. Making an inhale as you exhale, drawing the arms up overhead and just holding in this posture, breathing into this stretch. And then taking a nice deep inhalation and as you exhale slowly releasing the hands down bringing the left knee in to your back kneeling slowly making your way to standing now once standing checking that your feet are directly underneath the hips facing forwards 
feeling strong in all four corners of the feet, slight micro bend to the knees. As you inhale, interlacing the thumbs and raising the hands up overhead. And then as you exhale, folding at the hips, coming down into a forward fold, bringing the hands to the legs or to the ground if that's available to you. So we're inhaling up and we're exhaling down. Keeping that micro bend of the knees, feeling strong in your centre, working with that sacral energy, perhaps encouraging as you sweep the arms up and down, drawing the energy up through your very being, clearing the energy pathways, inhaling up and then exhaling down. And then making this your last one, coming up and then just holding the breath at the top, really stretching here now, really visualising, drawing that energy up through your being. And then exhaling, slowly bringing the arms down to the sides and then slowly making your way back down onto your knees if that's available for you or coming into a cross leg position. We're gonna prepare for sat career now. So sitting on the heels, inhaling, drawing the arms up above the head, interlacing the fingers and pointing the index fingers up to the sky or bringing the palms together in prayer pose above the head. Repeating the mantra, sat as you pull the navel point in and nam as you release it. Sat, drawing the navel point in, and nam, releasing the abdomen. And breathing and chanting in this way, drawing the energy up through your being, through the pointed fingers. Eyes are closed, focusing on the brow point. Repeating the mantra, sat, drawing the navel point in, and now I'm releasing it. And then taking a nice deep inhalation and suspending the breath and really stretching now, drawing that energy up, clearing that sacral center. And then as you exhale, slowly releasing the hands, sweeping the aura as you slowly bring the hands back down to the lap, just checking in, seeing how you feel before preparing now for relaxation, so slowly coming down onto your back on the mat, checking in, legs are slightly parted. Arms are to the sides, palms facing up, shoulders away from the ears, relaxing the jaw and just enjoying this moment of integration and relaxation. And perhaps if it feels right for you, allowing any further clearing of the sacral chakra energy to take place, clearing and balancing your emotions, perhaps setting the intention to allow and invite greater creativity into your life. And then bringing your awareness back to your body, encouraging some deeper breaths now, wiggling your fingers and wiggling your toes, perhaps taking a nice stretch overhead, stretching the arms over the head now, and then drawing the knees into the chest, rocking side to side rubbing the palms together and the soles of the feet together 
gently waking the body back up and then rocking up and down on the spine for a moment until you rock yourself back up to a seated posture. Once seated, just drawing the hands to the heart centre in prayer pose, we'll tune out with the mantra Sat Nam three times with a long sat and a short Nam. Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Light all, love to all, peace to all Thank you so much for joining me today's practice. It's been wonderful to have you here working with that sacral energy. I would love to hear what you thought of it in the comments below. If you wish to go a little bit deeper and you're curious, I do provide a sacral chakra drumming guided meditation, which I will link here. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.